Wizard! Do you hear me? Uh, yes, yes, I do. What's the problem? There's a little game I want to play. Um, okay. So you better bring your ass over here right now. Is that seriously why you called me? Now! Uh, Alright, fine, jeez! Lord? Alright, what's this about now? Damn it, he's not here. What the... Find me, teehee, smiley face. Really? All right, then. Aha! What the? What the hell could he possibly be? <laughs> oh, this is far too easy. All right, my lord, I got you now! What the fuck? Where is he? My lord? My lord? You want to just play the game instead? Okay, fine, fine. Uh, they were always kind of shitty. There wasn't a lot of stories that they didn't pay their fucking employees uh, even back in the day. Oh, yeah. Shit like that. I don't know what all, if it's all true or anything, but yeah. Hmm. So we're playing a Konami game today. I wonder. Wait, no, we're playing a Hideo Kojima game actually. Oh, what do you know? Wow. That's two completely different things. How, how did this happen? I can't believe that we are. F uh, we, it's actually the second time I'm doing a The Lord Catches Up! <laughs> oh shit! It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, the last one was Metroid, and it's still probably one of the most unpopular LP on my channel, which I can understand why. That was a lot of what the fuck am I doing? It is kind of the goal with these, but. Like, still. So, everyone, hello. I am The Lord. And I am the Court Wizard. And yes, we're playing The Lord. We are. Playing, I'm playing The Lord Catches Up, what? Anyway, if you're watching today, The Lord Catches Up with... Also with the wizard. I don't know how I'm gonna fit the title in. <laughs> Build Your Soul, the first one, yes. It is... Oops, oh. Did I actually fucking hit that by accident? Uh... I think I, I think did. did. Well, in that case, we're gonna wait just a little bit. Well, you know what? That will give us the time to actually explain a little bit of what's going on. So, yeah, I have been kind of teasing that for a while, and as, as, as time went by, I wasn't exactly sure if it was that much of a good idea to do that. I mean, it's gonna be... St it's, it's a fucking stealth game. Uh, let's be real, that's... It's gonna be a going, little bit hard to let... Going play. blind, that's gonna be something. But, uh... The more I thought about it, the more I said, oh, you know what, fuck it. Like, the... And for those who don't know, probably everyone... Like, boo! So... <laughs> <laughs> the Lord Catches Up is a little series that, well, now they pretty much became a series because that's the only, the only second. That's how it works. As soon as you got two of something, well, mostly it I, I only had series. one LP with the Lord Catches Up title before. Now I have two. So, <laughs> and it's basically games that have been extremely popular, extremely uh, are extremely well known. You know those games that like, to, oh, everybody played those, and I just never did for any no rhyme or reason. reason. It just so happened. The first one was Super Metroid. I never played that ever. And I mean, I was a, a PS1 kid. So the fact that I didn't play that, that's kind of surprising. I never touched any Metal Gear Solid. Okay, that's not exactly true. My first and only Metal Gear, Metal Gear game is Rising. <laughs> Ooh, okay. It was okay. a fucking okay. hype introduction to the <laughs> series. Shut up. It was hype. Well, it's gonna be quite a shift in tone. <laughs> oh, I'm fully aware. <laughs> but yeah. Also, I did for myself try this game just a little bit. I went to a point where I believe I 
met the DARPA chief, the Mr. Most Secret Black Project. And uh, then there was some, uh, like, what do you say, that's not optional, what's the fucking word for it? What's the opposite of optional? Mandatory? Mandatory, thank you, god. Mandatory shootout. And I thought it kind of felt like shit. <laughs> Well, <laughs> and I had other games I wanted to play anyway, so that kind of pushed me away. <laughs> but now I'm back. So, of course, this game, from what I have heard, hasn't really aged that well. Well, I guess it now. kind of makes sense. Even if it was revolutionary back in the day, this was and back in 1998. We've already seen a lot of things that made it really revolutionary. There but, have been a lot of changes yeah, but, that I've heard between this but one yeah, and like, number five. So we're gonna keep that in mind, and anyway, we started the LP, we're gonna fucking finish it now, that's how I do things, so we're going in. So we're going in blind, so you're not, like, you're not a, a male gear virgin yourself. <laughs> but you did tell me, I believe, that this one, though, you have never played. Yeah, I played two part of it. <laughs> With everyone's favorite main character. Raiden. <laughs> so that's gonna be fucking weird, because we're going in blind. We're gonna talk a lot, so we're probably gonna be really lost at some bits of this convoluted story. Uh, Only matched possibly by Kingdom Hearts. But at least <laughs> so we, we already saw everything that we needed to, to see about Yeah, this. we did watch the briefing beforehand. I mean, it would have been a whole episode if we did it on video. So we chose to watch it by ourselves. But we have seen the briefing. And it is... They're basically re retelling everything that we, uh, yeah, kinda. That we just heard. Well, except a few details, like for example, that the colonel's niece, uh, ass girl, is... Uh, oh, right. Is part of the hostages, or something? And we have to say the Darpa chief and blah 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 and all that shit. And all right, I guess we are fucking going in. Oh man, this is old. This feels old as shit. <laughs> I cannot wait to see if I if controlling it feels as shitty as the first time. So what are we going? Extreme. Okay, well, mm. let's go for normal, I guess. Yeah. And of course. Because we're playing a Metal Gear Solid game, every snake needs an Otacon. There we go. So when are you gonna piss your pants? <laughs> yes, I know about that. <laughs> huh? I'm pretty sure everybody knows about that one. Yeah. But uh, yeah, don't worry. I'm There's not. probably some references I don't even know are from Metal Gear Solid, and I will. Now, I believe this was like the first game to have a credit. Like opening with the voice actors' names. Pretty sure, yeah. And also having a director. Wow, this is old. Holy shit, this is old. Like, no joke. I think Legend of Dragoon actually looks better. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because it wasn't made to be to look to be looked at up close and personal. That's well, why it's always from a distance. Moments. Well, I know that, but most most of the time it's it's played from a distance, you know, where, yeah. where it doesn't look as And then again, garbage. graphics is definitely not the thing that is the most present in this. It's definitely everything else, mm -hmm. <laughs> basically. Absolutely. But yeah, like, ah. Our first collect. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Ah, that line. What's the situation, Snake? <laughs> Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. Totally Keith Sutherland. To Wait, hold on. No, it's David Hayter. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, by the way, you will now. we are now entering the Might Be Cancelled era <laughs> of the channel. As I am doing this, and Konami can be pretty well known sometimes to be a bunch of jerks. No shit, I guess. Well, I, I mean, Shirks is pushing it. That's being okay, they're, 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 the, them dicks. they're the evil Japanese emperor of the video yeah. game industry, I guess. Okay. <laughs> yes! They, uh, they will bring tyranny to the empire of video games and unless they're will... stopped. Oh, Jesus. And you will see tomorrow that. Wait a minute. What? Hold on. What? Hold on. Let is me it... just check. Oh, did you not? It changes it every time. Oh, that's why. 
kind of annoying. And we're back at Unlog. All right. And yet you even had the credits still going. Okay, uh, is this the kind of game that won't tell you the control? I guess I, I guess found not. it. Oh, Jesus. Wait, I think from what I remember, which is very little, there are a couple tutorials, but they only come up like much, uh, a little bit later. Wow, okay. Uh, I actually oh, I forgot. I, I walked on a fucking puddle. The noise alerted them. Wow. Ah, oh, shit. Good I... thing we have vision cones. <laughs> what? Oh, there it is. Now? Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the I'm right in front of it, Colonel. I think I figured that out. <laughs> you better hide somewhere. Oh. How do I use it? Uh, push the X button? Okay, or is it the on. circle button I used to, uh... Oh shit, I have no idea of the controls. I'm supposed to do what? Um. Fuck, wait, look out. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's surprisingly fine. <laughs> How is he not able to see you from over there? See, I totally went for this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Clearly. Uh, we actually have a problem now. I have no idea of the controls. <laughs> oh. I can't seem to activate this fucking thing. Okay, that's the crouch. Square <laughs> is to grab, that's, I guess. That's the square dancing button? Triangle is to... F there's a first person mode? Well, of course there is. Do I have to punch the thing? Uh, I, I hit the wall. Shit. Hey, this is starting well. No. I want is nothing. The same ones for item uh, for rations. I swear to fucking god, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh um, I'm trying. Just go in oh. I'm trying my fucking damnedest. Oh for fuck's sake. This is the this is really how it's going to happen. Oh shit, you got spotted. Did I just have to wait? When they said Was wait. Was that really what you needed to do? When they said wait, I thought it would say that I have to press the thing and it would I would have to wait for it to come down before getting in. Oh my God, so I didn't think I would actually have to wait for someone to get to <laughs> get down. Fucking. Unless I actually found the button to okay, interact with shit. Alright, let's do this. I do seem to be extremely- Hi! Bye! <laughs> bye! See you later, fuckers! Like, bye! What is that? I do seem to be extremely silent uh, when I'm walking on the ground somehow. So I guess we're gonna have to count that in. Oh jeez, okay. That was a great humiliating start. <laughs> this will set the tone for the entirety of the fucking LP. Oh, because here's the thing, like this game uses like more real life logic than other games did at that time. But it's still old, so I'm pretty sure there's still video game logic lock is stuck in there, so <gasps> it's Here probably gonna be hard sometimes to think, okay, can I can I do that with that logically that would affect things, but since it's a video game, even though it was revolutionary, will that actually take it into account? Like, what's gonna happen? Like, we don't know yet. Metal Gear Solid. Ah oh, man, Solid Trademark. Snake dyed his hair. Because if you've seen the briefings, you'd see that he has very long, luscious blonde locks. Almost Finn-like hair. <laughs> Finn's hair is fucking fabulous. <laughs> Let it be known. Finn. Finn the human. Ah, yes. Adventure time! Okay. <laughs> wow, those graphics. Oh, boy. Like, without the nostalgia aspect, it's it pretty looks... fucking weird to go back to an old game like that you never touched. <laughs> yeah, PLP has no eyes. Solid Snake, where are your pupils? They're stealthy. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Okay. Excellent Snake. Wow, already the end of the objective. Cool. Down one bit. Thanks to the VR training I did on board the Discovery. That is a good moment to mention that PlayStation VR is about to Okay. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. Yeah, fuck you too. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy, I'm great. I think I know this. <laughs> if it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a pop. Yeah, uh, seriously, can people in the military in the comments just Confirm that when you're doing that kind of stuff, you get injected with basically every every fucking possible thing ever. Like, what did he get? Like, stuff to be able to not need to sleep for 12 hours? Uh, stuff to make him smarter? Nanomachines? <laughs> Nanomachines, son! 
to me uh, and also uh there's the stuff that he talked about to make sure that he wouldn't freeze and uh yeah and everything plus the suit too so he wouldn't freeze colonel behind dick gun shit doing here i have no idea but it looks like our little diversion got their attention now's your Ooh. best chance to slip in unnoticed i'm sure it's gonna go super fucking well absolutely Nothing can go wrong I'm with the best Solid itself. Snake, the best soldier in the world. Technically, it's Big Boss. <laughs> so this is gonna be fucking weird because we, all that we know, we, or all that we think we know, we've heard from other stuff. So it's gonna be fucking confusing. Like, okay, so do, do they actually know that? And we're like, no, probably not. Or I think I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Really, we have no idea what we know and don't know. There are only 18 hours I'm pretty left sure we know so deadline. little. You've got to that hurry. took a whole hour? Wow, you must be crazy to fly hind in this kind of weather. Well, I'm... Um, yeah, is that... Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you. Oh, is that the yet. agent? This is Mei Lei. Oh. That's the agent. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Nice. That's Contact pretty impressive. I'm going to Very it. useful. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, I forgot. So, you know, they said that Meryl has been, like, psychologically trained to not be attracted to, uh, to the people of the opposite sex. sex. So, I want to bet, how much, yeah, how much do you want to bet that fuck, that she's going to be still super fucking wet for Snake? <laughs> 20 bucks. She's going to want the snake so hard, man. Like the mini snake. This is clearly where this is going. Because Snake is so awesome. Snake is this awesome. That even psychotherapy can do nothing against his nanomachine. David Hayter's voice is pretty. And the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Okay. Be careful, Snake. It's like the solid sex. Soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to Fully vision solid. <laughs> Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I All right. want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. Alright. The yeah. DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. Fucking nanomachines. You should appear on your radar as a green dot. Ah, that's Get useful. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. Okay, so that's one thing. If he's alive, that is. Let's do our best to, to find him alive, I suppose. Well, let's I guess do that's this, the then. Do. Let's get into... Oh, wait, no, there's still a... Uh... But if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Why? Why? Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, okay. it's all made from currently existing technology. Fair. You won't be able to use it in an area with For strong now. harmonic resonance, so be careful. I do, like, I do love how they explain every, like, limitation by, of gameplay by... Got it. Actual can Yeah, I mean, it, it actually... It, it's, like, a, it's a stuff that... Some stuff that up, makes so sense. I, I actually like that. I, I always like that about the series. <laughs> How they were actually able to explain by canon some stuff in Metal Gear Rising also. And then others that actually cannot be explained because fuck you, it's platinum, so... Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. Oh, oh, that's I that's what you mean by thing. Okay, First yeah. I'm strip search by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself putting that. At least, she, at least you didn't take the most important one. Your cigarette. Wait, what are you thinking about? I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. I was about to make a joke about that, and for fuck's sake, he actually suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes. How are those going to help you? I don't know. You never know. <laughs> I think that is mostly a reference to his the bullshit cigarettes. that was in th those old Metal Gear games. I, I, can't, I, I still can't believe this. His cigarettes are in his if stomach. You get in, there's the front door. Okay. Unbelievable. The fastest way. There's actual there's so scopes. Wow. By the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Well, well, I mean, that's usually why you have to, you know, sneaky sneak your way in. <laughs> if you're polite enough. <laughs> I mean, I may be a decent diplomat, but I don't think even I would be good enough for that. If you were Adam Jensen, you could totally do it. <laughs> what about the air duct near the door? Are you moving at all? Or, uh... nope. No, 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 that's not me. Okay. Okay. 
I'm not doing anything. You can see it. I can't okay, see yeah. it from here. So already there's many ways that I'm. It's almost like I'm playing uh, Deus Ex again. <laughs> I'm counting on you, Snake. Okay. And we're in. So if I remember correctly, is actually a thing about. Oh jeez. Oh, it looks. Oh wait. Look out, spotlight. If I remember correctly, there's actually a thing about footsteps in the snow. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Wait. What's that? That looks like a fucking camera. Okay, yeah, yeah, that is. Surveillance camera? Uh, could we? Ah, damn it. Fuck. Maybe you missed my chance. You wanted to. Wait, hold on, where, where's it gonna go? Ah, that way, okay. Boop, 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 boop. Am I actually going right through, through the front door, front door in the end? I. Uh, That's actually not what I wanted to do. Shit. Wait, there's a red dot on the. Looks like on the roof. It doesn't look like an enemy, though. He's asleep. Okay, so he's asleep. Sit. It's fine. <laughs> Did that actually fucking work? Oh my god! Did we really just do that? I, the Lord of the wow. Best. Wow, man. I'm the best. By the way, don't worry. That was just a codec call. <laughs> the thing that was not. Yeah, I know. I was, I was scared that it would wake him up. And then he was gonna be like, oh. uh, I believe if the I when I first played, I believe I went into a codec conversation that actually explained that it it's something deep in the uh, I don't know how it's called in English, sorry, but the thing deep in your ear, like the thing that makes like you hear sound and it resonate, mm, it's okay. actually spotted right there, so only you can hear it. And oh. also somehow, I guess when you talk, nobody else can hear it around you, and time stops. I don't know. I'm not sure about that, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm not exactly sure, but okay. That one, that one's not as well explained, but I don't. I well, don't maybe it is, but I didn't get there. But yeah, but I don't think even they would have a decent explanation for that one. Like you can't for really time say, stopping. "Oh, I, I can talk through telepathy and I can just so what do everything." Yeah, it's mostly the time stop, but definitely the time stop. I'm not sure how it goes. Maybe because it's smarter, everything. No, that wouldn't fit. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think that's a good point. Unfortunately, we already have to end the episode because it goes so fast. But I think with that immense success, <laughs> I think. I mean, we, we've done a pretty good job. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> <laughs> this is also setting the tone for the rest of the LP. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pretty much. Oh, Holy shit. We're going to accomplish great things. All right, so everyone, I'm your lord. And I'm the court wizard. And if you want to keep following the great sneaking adventures of the Lord and this guy, we can, you can always click the subscribe button down there, leave comments and whatever. And if you want, there's also the Super Metroid LP that is the other, the other Lord catches up with. It can always be fun. And in the meantime, until next episode, as noted from me, you take care of yourselves. See ya. My Lord, what happened? My Lord? My Lord!